What's up, Korean artists? How are you? Welcome. Today we are going to try out this new system called Poly Gel. It's kind of like a hybrid between acrylic and hard gel. It's very interesting. We've all been very curious as to how it works, so I just went along and bought it so we can figure this out together. So this is the kit that I bought. It's a trial kit, and I got it for like 150, 160 dollars because I got it in the U.S. Okay, so the kit includes this really cool spatula that's essential to apply the gel. We have the solution, which is called the slip solution. We are going to use this to sculpt the gel. It also includes, obviously, the gel, which is actually pretty thick. I really loved it, seriously, and made me think, can you really do nails with this? So this is a gel, and this is how it looks. Kind of like toothpaste, which is actually great, because it will help you not waste any product whatsoever. This is the consistency, so with the spatula, take a small bead, and I want you guys to see how it doesn't roll off or move at all. I can do the spatula over, and the gel will just stick to it. I've never seen anything like this. Our kit also includes this sort of like clip, which we will use to squeeze the gel out of the tube. Now let's get on with our application. So the first thing we have to do is our nail prep, just like we usually do it. Push the cuticle back, get rid of the dead skin and dust, the smooth filing of our nail, preferably with a 150 grit file. We add our nail primer or adherent, and now we pour a little bit of the slip solution in a small glass or container. It's not monomer or acetone. This is super important. You have to use this product. Okay, next we are going to take a small bead of gel using our spatula. Oh my god, look at this! And we are going to place it on, well in this case, I'm going to sculpt an extension first, so we are going to place it on the free edge of our nail. You see how I just place it there and it doesn't move at all? Only when I manipulate it, and we are going to sculpt it by dipping our brush in the slip solution which we, which we just poured into the small glass. So by doing this, our brush will be totally wet and is going to help you sculpt the gel perfectly. You can spread the gel to one side or the other, any way you like, one side longer, one side shorter, and it will sew on its own quite evenly. Now seriously, I find this new system extremely amazing and I swear that they're not sponsoring me or anything. I just got this with my own money and this is my experience. Okay, see, so I already sculpted the nail, you see how it's even on the side. You can keep adding slip to it. If you feel that the brush starts getting a little bit sticky, just dip it in the slip again and keep shaping your nail. So we're going to take another bead, this time a bit smaller, and we're going to place it in the cuticle area. To be honest, I think I might need a little bit of practice with the bead placing thing. <laughs> I'm sure with some practice I'll get it down. Okay, so now that we've had the bead there, we dip the brush in the slip solution again and we'll seal the cuticle area. Making sure that the gel doesn't stick to the skin. If it happens, don't worry, it's super easy to get it off. So we spray it out towards the free edge of our nail. This gel, I kid you not, oh my god, I swear it evens out and settles with such ease, it's amazing. Just look at the nail from the side, it's practically all done. So once your structure is done, just put it under the lamp to cure it. I actually did use the tweezers to make the nail a little bit narrow after coming out of the lamp. So the curing time depends on the lap you're using, but it may take between one to two minutes. The gel won't come out sticky, in fact it will be all ready to file. So take out your file, preferably a 150 grit, not too coarse, and you are going to file like you usually do. So the laterals, the surface, shape the nail, you buff it, and all set. We dust it off and look at this! Our sculpted extension is perfectly made and it took us almost no time. You just saw it! So we buff our nail, we gotta clean that surface since we made a little bit of dust. And look, it's even on the side, it's thin but still incredibly resistant, and it's ready for you to put some semi-permanent nail polish on it and give it a finishing touch with some gel maybe. I'll be using the all-in-one and I'll use a very thin coat so that you can see what the finished nail looks like. So let's place it under the lamp to cure for about two minutes and all done. Here's the nail extension made out of poly gel. Did you like it? Yay, let's move on to the next. Okay, right now we are going to make a nail extension, but this time using nail tips. For all our Cree artists that don't use a sculptural technique, I want you to see we can also do it with tips. So here we do our nail prep like we usually do. I'm putting some adherent on and I already have a tip on my nail. In this case, I went for a square one, but you can use a tip of your choice. Once we have our adherent on our nail, we are going to take this bead and place it on the smile line. 
okay? I really need to keep practicing. And with the slip solution, we are going to start to shape it. So here it goes. It's basically the same procedure we used for the other nail. In fact, can you see how smoothly you can spread the gel out? It's almost as if it were, I don't know, like maybe butter. It's actually quite light, super light. And I think this is a great option for all those girls that are allergic to acrylic or that don't like the smell. Because even though the slip solution is melon scented, its smell is not as strong as a monomer. So I think it's perfect for like salons or people who can't stand the smell of monomer. Even the people that work at home and the monomer makes uh, their husbands and kids nauseous maybe. That's why I think this is a very, very good option. Okay, so we're replacing a bead right in the middle of our nail. You can do it like this, spread the rest of the tip, and you practically have your nail done. Now you only have to take a small bead to cover the cuticle area, so we place it right there and we dip our brush in the slip, seal our cuticle area, spread it downwards, and just look how quick this was. We're practically done! Like seriously, we're practically done. So I really like this for like people who have salons, because we really get to struggle a lot when one of our employees leaves and we have to train someone else. It's a huge struggle because it takes them like about a month to learn how to do acrylic nails. So that's why I think that this new method comes in quite handy and you can train your new employee in like one or two days. Tops. Now look at this, our extension is filed, buffed, and super clean. This is a squared shaped tip. You can see how it's not thick, it's structured how it's supposed to, and we're going to seal it with the all-in-one finishing gel. Like I said before, you can apply the semi-permanent gel on your nails. Okay, all done! You have your extension with a tip using the poly gel system, and if we already did this by sculpting the nail and with a tip, it's obviously going to be so much faster with our natural nail. So I'm going to apply it to this nail, which is already naturally long. And a lot of our clients do it like this and they say, Oh, I just want you to cover my fingernail so I don't bite it or so it doesn't break because it breaks a lot. So, okay, poly gel is the option. So after our usual prep, we are going to place a bead of poly gel in the middle of our nail and we are going to shape it with our slip solution. We're going to take the brush and spread it towards the top to the cuticle area and spread it out nice and even. Remember to avoid the skin. This is really important because the poly gel might come off. And then we are going to spread it downwards. This is a very thin layer because we took a small bead due to the fact that this fingernail is a bit small. So, okay, keep shaping them and spraying the gel out until it's as thick as needed depending on the nail that you're covering. So once that's done, we are going to cure it like we've been doing before. Remember, it doesn't come out sticky and it's ready to file and buff. I really think that this is a great option for people who can't have like decorated or long fingernails. So to this overlay, you can add normal nail polish that the client can easily remove, semi-permanent gel, or even just add some finishing gel. I'm going to use the all-in-one and well, the fingernails will look very nice and groomed and they will be very nicely protected. Okay, Cree artists, so these are the three options you can use a poly gel for. Overlay on your natural nail, sculpted nail, and over a nail extension or tip. I really hope your questions about poly gel have been answered. Please comment on what you thought of this new system below, because we're all like, poly gel, poly gel, poly gel. So I would really like to know what you think about it, if you liked it or not. I honestly loved it, loved it. I think it's something super new and extremely easy to apply. Thank you so much for being with me in this video and if this is your first time visiting, feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button. Don't forget to like the video and share it. Love you Cree artists and I'll see you in the next video!